Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how to clean the upper pond, and usually this is done um, late spring, early summer, uh, when you're first uh, cleaning up the pond, uh, right before you get a lot of sunshine coming through the backyard. And the reason why you want to do that is you want to get as much of the debris out of here as possible before the sun gets onto the pond, before it starts growing a bunch of algae because then the algae has a tendency to take off. Um, you should never get a free-floating algae in here, well, not very much anyways, uh, because you have the UV sterilizer that's up there. And then also if you get the debris out of here and you have other plants in here that are taking up the nutrients, then you don't have that uh, bloom of algae. Uh, a lot of ponds get that and it's it's you can't even see in the water with it so um but this pond hasn't had any blooms of algae in it since i first done it about 30 years ago so uh it's always been the water's been fairly clear all the time so but here's what i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and show you this normally i probably wouldn't even do it right now but i want you to know how this is done just in case you want to do it um, so I have specific tools that I use for this, and it is a 12-gallon vacuum, rigid, and I only use this for the pond. That's its only purpose. Um, I have taken the um, filter out of it, so it's never using a filter. Um, you always want to hook the inlet side over on this side, and the outlet side on this side because, and you want to point it away from you because you might get a little spit of water out and you don't want it all over you. And then this hose is only used for the pond. And this is one of the real flexible hoses and it'll be uh, rolled up on the wall over there on the other side of the uh, pump house. And then I use, if I don't have a lot of debris in, in the pond, I will use like a squeegee a squeegee style um, attachment to the hose. Um, I do have another attachment. It's that one right there. If there's a lot of silt in it, a lot of muck, then you can use this one and it will suck it up. But this one uses a lot less water and that's what we want to do. We want to use a lot less water. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump off so there's not a whole lot of water uh, flowing through the upper pond because we want to get the dirt out of here. We don't want to spread it to the other pond. Even though that you will get some in the other pond, it's not a big deal. I'm going to show you how an easy way to clean that out too. So uh, here we go.